Resort in Las Vegas. Five celebrities battle it out at the poker table. At stake, the Cadillac Bravo Million Dollar Prize Pool. Playing tonight, from Jake in Progress, Ian Gomez. Seventh Heavens, Jeremy London. Actress, Cameron Mannheim. Project Runways, Wendy Pepper. And from Days of Our Lives, Allison Sweeney. Plus, world-class poker player and expert, Phil Gordon. And your host, Dave Foley. And welcome to Celebrity Poker Showdown, where all you need is a dream, a gambling problem, and a TV series in the top 70. <laughs> now, please help me bring out tonight's dreamers, playing for the Autism Society of America, Ian Gomez. <laughs> playing for EBMRF, Jeremy London. Association, Wendy Pepper. And playing for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, Allison Sweeney. Let's play. Uh, well, well, welcome to the table, celebrity. Thank you for being here. Now, I, you know, I know everybody wants to win, but this, you know, that's not what this is about. Mm -mm. This is not celebrity socialist utopias. <laughs> this is not celebrity kibbutz. <laughs> no, this is celebrity poker showdown. And uh, what we're going to be playing for today is this silver oh, chip. You brought the chip. I know, isn't it? And Thank God. It never ceases to amaze, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it hypnotizes. This is the silver chip, which means you're the champion of this game, which means you go on to the championship round and the chance to win what this time is called the Cadillac Bravo Million Dollar Prize Pool. Yeah. That's incredible. If you, if you win that game, you take home the biggest piece of that prize pool, which is $500,000. Awesome. Yeah. Now, I'll explain that the game we play here is, uh, is called No Limit Texas Hold'em. And if you've uh, forgotten how to play that, first off, this is really bad timing. Uh, but just in case you want a refresher, here it is. It's a simple game, really. Each player is dealt two whole cards face down and then they bet. Three community cards are spread face up in the middle of the table. These are called the flop and are common to everybody's hand. After a round of betting, one more common card is turned face up. This is called the turn. Everybody bets, and then one last common card, called the river, is added to the spread. There's one final round of betting, then players make their best five-card poker hand out of any combination of their two whole cards and the five in the middle of the table. Each player starts with $10,000 in chips. The order of betting is determined by a white disc known as the dealer button. Having it in front of you is called being on the button, and it means that you get to act last on every round of betting. This is the strongest position at the table because you get to see how all the other players act before you decide what to do. Every hand, the first two players will have to make forced bets, known as blinds, to start the action and build the pot. At regular intervals, these blinds will increase, making the minimum bet higher and higher throughout the tournament. And while there are minimums, remember this is no limit poker, so there are no maximums. At any time, any player can go all in and bet everything they have. Eventually, one player will have all the chips on the table and be declared the winner. Please help me to welcome a man with an IQ higher than my cholesterol, and as you know, I live on fried chicken strips. <laughs> Poker expert Phil Gordon. Thanks, Dave. I'm oh. going to put you on an all-steak uh, all diet from here on out. All right. 
Now, we, we've got five celebrity card players out there, and they're all, they're all going to do what they can to avoid coming into this lovely room, this, this, uh, this layer of depression that we call the Loser's Lounge. And uh, tonight, it's gonna, they're going to be looked after in here by the lovely Tammy. Right. So it's, it's not nearly as awful as it sounds. Definitely not awful. Uh, but nobody can lose until we start. Right. You know, you can't lose unless you play. That's so we better throw it to Robert Thompson, yeah. right? Let's throw it to Robert Thompson, our tournament director, with his magical phrase, Shuffle, shuffle up, up and deal. deal. One and two hundred dollar blind. Shuffle up and deal. All right, blinds are going to start at 100, 200. Each player has $10,000 in chips. Mm -hmm. It's important you're early going, I think, to play a little bit tighter than you normally would. You want to get a feel for how the table's going to play. Even though we're playing for a million dollars? A million dollars. Jeremy is first out. And Jeremy London of Seventh Heaven folds Jeremy a king folds. three. Actress Karen Mannheim has a queen eight, which she Cameron folds. Folds. Ian Gomez of uh, Jake in Progress, um, and he's two. I'll raise. Yeah. Ian is raising. Yeah. Ian is raising 400 to 600 total. Allison Sweeney of Days of Our Lives has an ace 10. You have no idea what you're doing, do you? No, none. No. But I'm oh, just going to wing it. OK. Does that sound OK? I'm going to get smacked in the head, aren't I? <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to raise. Yeah. Allison is raising. Oh. Woo, getting started early. We like it. And it's at 600 now. So I'm going to raise another 400 and make it. Allison raises 400 to 1,000 total. And Wendy Pepper, Project Renway with a queen nine. Wendy folds. Well, what do I have? Um, I'll call. Ian calls, two players. Come on, Allison. What's with this? Come on, Allison. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Crying out loud. Flop is nine of clubs, tray of clubs, tray of diamonds. That couldn't Allison help you. Allison is first. Allison's got the best hand right now. Pair of threes with the ace ten kicker. Yeah, I'll start with three. Allison bets 300. This is called right. calculating the pot odds. I will call. Ian calls. I know, Phil, I should have raised. <laughs> All right, I don't think he should have raised. I'm not sure he clubs. should call either, though. Allison is first. So if I have two clubs, I mean... What? <laughs> He is in position, though, Dave. You just reminded her she had the flush. <laughs> it's much easier to win in position okay. than out of position. Check. Allison checks. Then I will bet. He's last to act he on every round of betting. A thousand. He can apply some pressure here. He does bet a thousand. <laughs> Even though she's eighty percent to win, I'll give you my best poker face. The fact that Ian is in position gives him an advantage. Don't listen to him. Don't listen. Allison does fold, and Ian takes the early chip lead. Cannot give him a lead. <laughs> All right, before this gets a little crazy, uh, we should go ahead and make our picks. So I choose to doom to failure. Uh, I think I'm going to doom uh, Ian Gomez because he's married to a Canadian. I'm going to pick uh, Cameron Mannheim reluctantly yeah. because she busted me out of a tournament that we played in L.A. Really? Yes, she did. She busted me out. Smart decision. Oh, now you just want to slap him. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? <laughs> I'm going to wear these all night. Who's he married to? He's married to Nia Vardalus, in my big fat Greek wedding fame. Cameron Mannheim, King Six. I'm glad we spoke this morning, because I was going to wear that. <laughs> This is like when you look at Allison and Wendy, they obviously didn't speak this morning because they're wearing the same jewelry. <laughs> See, it pays to have a little conversation. I'll call. I didn't get my email. I know, I, darn I... Allison. And Ian Gomez, 7 3. Even though he's suited, he folds. That's a good play. And it's a Jack 8 suited for Allison. Allison folds. Queen 9. From the small blind, it's only 100 to see the flop. Wendy folds. Jeremy has an ace seven, <clears throat> not suited. Jeremy raises 500 to 700 total. Good move, good move. Okay. Cameron calls, two flyers. Bravo. <laughs> Get it, because it, it shows it <laughs> on Bravo. Slop is four You're of clubs, so queen of okay. spades, 10 of clubs. Jeremy, 76% to win. 
However, he's out of position and did not flop a pair. 800. Cameron bets 800. This is solely just a position play. Cameron's in the best position in the table right there because when Jeremy checks to her, he's showing weakness. Cameron yeah. can bet with almost any two cards there and expect to take the pot. Yeah. In fact, she's only 24% to win if we go all the way to the river. Uh, no, no, but we're no, not going no, to the river. No. You can't let her get a lead. Uh, Cameron's got this like this job. Good play from Cameron Mannheim. Cool, calm, collected persona here. They call me Cool Breeze. Yes, they do. <laughs> you can call me that for now. <laughs> I'm Cameron Mannheim, and I'm playing for the Venice Family Clinic. I'm looking to take down all of them, one by one. I am back on this show for one reason and one reason only, revenge. I don't like to say I did not win. I like to say I had a bad beat. Oh, it's over! For this game, I've been going to tournaments. I've been watching. I've been reading. I've been playing. I'm into woman power. We cannot give him a lead. You know, I want one of the girls to take home the gold. You know what? I think I'm going to raise. I'd like to see me take it home first. 800. Yeah. My entire intention in playing this game really isn't to win, but to play well, so that I can be proud of the way I play. Wow. I don't need to play for the cash prize. I need to know that I beat you. I won. Ian Gomez is winning now, but when we come back, the chip lead will change hands twice. It's all right. I don't care. He's it's only money boy. for autistic children. Don't even think about going away. It's about to get exciting. Woo! Wow. We play because poker's not a scratch-off ticket, a half-court jumper, or a knock on wood. It's no game of luck, poker. It's a game of patience and well-timed aggression. We know when we play, a little luck helps. But luck can't explain why final tables have so many familiar faces. We play at FullTillPoker.com. Welcome back. We're at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas, where I'm the oldest person you will see. <laughs> We're just getting started, but that's no reason not to do a chip count. Come on, Phil. Come All on. All right. I know in the show. Here's a chip Go count. Go on. The early chip leader is Ian Gomez with 11,500. Second place belongs to Cameron Mannheim with 10,600. Wendy Pepper's in third with 9,700. Jeremy London's close behind in fourth place with 9,500. And Allison Sweeney's currently in fifth. She's got 8,700 in chips. You know, you, you can't be the chip leader without knowing what beats what, which actually isn't true. You can be, but you just don't know how you got there. <laughs> so in case you have no such knowledge, here is a refresher course from lowest to highest hand. At the bottom, when you've got no pair, no nothing, hands are ranked by the high card, with an ace being the highest. Next is a pair, two cards of the same rank. The lowest pair is deuces, the highest is aces. The next best hand is two pair. The higher of the two pair is the one that counts. For example, your jacks and threes beats my tens and nines. Beating two pair is three of a kind, which is just what it sounds like. Three of a kind is also known as trips or a set. Next best on the list is a straight. Five cards of any suit in sequential order, like five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can play an ace low, as in ace, two, three, four, five, or high, as in 10 jack, queen, king, ace. Beating a straight is a flush. Five cards of any rank that are all of the same suit. Flushes are ranked by the highest card in the flush. So if you had five hearts with an ace high, and I had five clubs with only a jack high, you'd take the pot. Next is a full house, which is three of a kind plus a pair. To beat a full house, you're looking for four of a kind. It's not easy to get, but when you do, chances are you'll win with it. That is, unless somebody has a straight flush. Five cards of the same suit and in sequential order. Five, six, seven, eight, nine of spades is a straight flush. And the granddaddy of all hands is called a royal flush. That's the five highest cards in sequential order 
10 jack, queen, king, ace, all of the same suit. And that's as good as it gets. Now let's get back to the action. One of the $200 blinds, shuffle up and deal. Allie is first act. And Allison's got a three four. Three fold. Wendy Pepper with an A6. Ooh, she's feeling good. Wendy raises 400 to 600 Perfect. total. Three times a big blind. Jeremy with a folds of 410. Jeremy folds. Cameron, six queen. I can hear you thinking. Smoke burner. Cameron folds. And Ian, you and queen me, eight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Come on. What's the uh, the bet to me? What's how much is it to me? Four hundred to call. Cal, where's another four hundred? That's Andy not a big enough raise to get her to fold. To Andy's out of total. position, and it's a bad hand. I'm scared of you. Rather. Where are my glasses? Damn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good girl. Wendy right. calls two players. Come on, stuff that matches my stuff. Ooh. Nothing matching there. Ooh. Wendy has the best Ooh. hand with a pair of aces. She also has a flush draw. And Wendy, 98% to win, Dave. Those are good odds. All right. Six. And yet he's betting anyway. All in. He's baking it. He wants you to go all in. <laughs> yeah. Wendy raises. And now Ian's got to be Wendy done here. Wendy raises 600 to 1,200 total. Oh, Ian nice. folds. Wendy, Wendy takes the pot and the chip lead. Nice job. Girl power. Girl power. It's all right. I don't care. <laughs> He's it's only money bully. for autistic children. <laughs> uh, you feel okay about it. It's good. Wendy is first to act. Excuse me while I stack, your stack chips. my way. I mean, my chips. <laughs> Got a little bit of Ian over here to yeah. visit. <laughs> Ace eight for Wendy Pepper. Wendy folds. And an ace seven for Jeremy. Jeremy raises 400 to 600 total. Ace four for Cameron. How was that, Phil? Perfect, Jeremy. A smattering of applause. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Mom. Cameron, good fold Cameron with the folds. ace four. A nine five. Ian folds. And another nine five. Chip away like a couple hundred. Allie falls. <laughs> Jeremy wins the pot. Perfect pre flop race from Jeremy. He's going to take the pot. Uh, if he's going this way, I might have everybody's money by next week. I'm Jeremy London, and I'm playing for the Epidermalysis Bellosa Medical Research Foundation. Oh man, I'm feeling great. I can smell victory. Can smell that? See, I was lucky enough that I've got a twin brother. And growing up, uh, any type of, uh, you know, gambling, playing cards, we were always going head to heads. A poker face. <laughs> uh, I started playing a regular poker game on uh, Friday nights with some sharks. You can lose some money quick, <laughs> really quick. Jeremy raises 400. How's that, Phil? If Cameron takes my money. They call me Cool Breeze. Yes, they do. You know, I'll bow out graciously and then go into a corner and cry. Call my mom. Cool Breeze. Thanks, Mom. I could be playing the dumb card. See, I, I like to let people think that I'm always playing the dumb card. I could be bluffing. I'm an actor after all. Oh, yeah. Blinds are 100, 200 still. Oh, Jeremy, 5-9. Wow, this is, these are really good cards. I hate to do this. <laughs> Jeremy fold. Cameron with a 3-5. Cameron fold. Ian's got a um, pair of sixes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, raise. Ian is raising. It's a good play. Did you notice how before he did anything, he looked at her stack, he looked over at your stack, he looked at your stack. That's a tell. <laughs> I, the, don't, the, I don't know exactly uh, what it means. What is it telling? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not sure I know what it means uh, either. Uh, I think I mean he's afraid to look at Cameron Stack. 800 total for Jack. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bold move. It's a bold, bold move when it's not your money at all. You mean? Look at the children. What do you mean, mean again? Look at this. Ten. The children. It's for the children. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm not even going to put the glasses on. Ooh, staring her down. Get him, Wendy. Tough decision for Wendy. If you have cards that are better than mine, then you will win. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. Okay. Wendy Fold, Ian and wins Ian the will flop. take the pot before the flop. <laughs> Allie is first act. Allie with an ace jack. Oh, I'm sick of this nonsense. Six. Allie raises 300 to 500 total. Oh, someone got a hand. King two for Wendy. Wendy folds. And Jack nine of hearts. Jeremy raises Jeremy's re-raising with the Jack nine. Total. Suited. It is suited, but I hate that play. Cameron folds an ace Cameron five. Folds. Three six. Suited. Ian folds. Okay, re-raise. Well, Allie good play there. 500 more to 1,500 right. Just because your hand is suited does not automatically make it playable, Dave. No. I should have stayed in. Flop is nine of diamonds, queen of spades, four of hearts. Allie Jeremy first. does have the best hand after the flop. He's 85% to win from here. All right. All right. Allison will have to be very aggressive with this hand in order to win. Allie bets 500. That's not a big enough bet. Raising. Jeremy raises 500 to 1,000. Wow. Take it from me, Allie. Allie calls. She could be in some very big trouble here. Turn is deuce of clubs. Allie is first. Big card. Allie checks. Jeremy checks. Oh, card. River is a 10 of hearts. Allie is first. A big bet from Allison here would get the job done. <coughs> Allie bets 2,000. Well, let's uh -huh. see if that's enough. This is a stone cold bluff with no pair. Uh, and it is enough. Oh, Jeremy down. lays right. it down. Allison takes the chip lead. All good right. Bet. Very good. That was fun. I'm Allison Sweeney. I'm playing for the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. I grew up in L.A. with two brothers. We were always really competitive with each other, and my mom is very competitive, so she taught me, if you're going to play it, you might as well win. <laughs> I thought I'd play a little bit before we actually get to the table to see how lucky I am today. Oh, this does not bode well. My skill level constitutes me sitting for hours in front of the television watching Celebrity Poker Showdown. <laughs> Being a blonde, you could definitely take advantage of people's perception of blondes. You have no idea what you're doing, do you? No, none. But I'm oh, just going to wing it. And I have been known to take advantage of people with that kind of attitude. Oh, I'm sick of this nonsense. But I'm going to have to scope out this group of players and see what they expect of me and, and see how I can take advantage of that. I'm going to shake it up. You're never going to know what I'm, really, what I'm really thinking. We have a new chip leader. <laughs> Can the soap opera star stay on top? Why am I nervous right now? There's only one way to find out. Stay tuned. The tension is killing me. Welcome back to the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. I'm sitting next to the improbably tall, handsome, and available Phil Gordon. Are you hitting on me? Yes, just a little. <laughs> I don't see a ring, baby. We've got five celebrities out there, Phil. I don't know if you've noticed, and they're playing poker. They're trying to win the biggest piece of the Cadillac slash Bravo million dollar million dollar, million dollar prize, prize pool. Million dollar prize yes. pool. Yes. Don't want to get all Dr. Evil about it, but yes, one million dollars. And uh, how, how's the chip count looking? Who's uh, who's in the lead? Who isn't? Allison Sweeney's gone from worst to first. She's got 11,200 chips. Wendy Pepper's right behind her in second place with 11,100. 
Cameron Mannheim's in third with 10,200. Ian Gomez has the number four spot with 9,900. And Jeremy London's currently in fifth with 7,600 in chips. One and $200 blind. Shuffle up and deal. Wendy is first act. And Wendy has a queen eight. Wendy folds. Jeremy with a queen three. Jeremy folds. Cameron, pair of fives. I'll raise. Also known as presto. Yeah, Cameron likes the hand. She's going to raise it to 600. Total. I'm going to suggest a new term, though. What's that? For a pair of fives? Fifi. Fifi? Fifi. Fifi. Right, we're going to go with Fifi. Uh, call. Cameron's got Ian Fifi. Calls. Ian calls with the ace three suited. Jack nine Ian for calls. Allison. All right, we are heads up. Cameron with Fifi is 67% to win. Flop is ace of diamonds, tray of clubs, nine of diamonds. Great flop for Ian. Ian. He's first. flopped two pair, aces and threes. Five. Ian bets 500. Ian now 90% to win. Mm, he's looking down at her stack. Mm -hmm. Your opponents look at your stack when you're thinking about betting. They're, in, they're visualizing your chips in their stack. Yeah. That's dirty. That's a tell. It's a sign of strength. That sounds bad. Notice he's also gotten very quiet. Those are your options. All in, big raise, or call. <laughs> or fold. You could always fold. <laughs> no, no, that's not an option. Does not want her to fold, I can tell you that. <laughs> folding, there's a lot of honor in folding. <laughs> Everything about his body language communicates to me that he's got a good hand. Sure, right no now. shame. That's what I'm no, there's no to shame. Right you know, you have... You have... Um, uh, more money to play with next time. He's acting like he wants her to fold, which means he really wants her to call. There, there are two types of tells, okay? One type of tell is involuntary. It's a physical mannerism that gives away the strength of the hand. The other is an acting tell, and we have a lot of actors on this show. That's true. It's the nature of the show, right? really. But what will happen is an actor will act strong when they're weak and weak when they're strong. They're trying to get you to do something else. Oh. Cameron, Cameron might have picked up on it or just pot. decided her two fives weren't good. Way to talk her into it. Yeah, he's good at more often. I'm Ian Gomez, and I'm playing for the Autism Society of America. I grew up in New York City. I was a kid who said, fine, I'm taking my ball and going home. I was that kid. I don't like to lose, and it's something I'm really trying to work on. I'm only folding so I can drink. I have a uh, regular game that I play with a bunch of friends. It's low stakes, nothing too much, but it's mostly about the beer and the beef jerky. What am I in this for? <laughs> <laughs> My Las Vegas name is Mr. Go. He's a Las Vegas man. He's like, hey, Bobby, comps. Hey, how you doing? Think you're in, huh? I plan on calling for Phil telepathically whenever I'm in the jam. I know, Phil, I should have raised. Raise, raise, fold. I'm a sucker for uh, charming women, but I'm going to have my, my poker uh, blinders on. <laughs> and it's, I'm just going to be concentrating about the game. It's going to be all about the game. Well, now, we, we've seen how the celebrities at the table play poker, and Phil is constantly telling us what he would do in any given situation. But now it's time to put a little pressure on yourself. We're only going to, we're going to hide all but one player's whole cards. For this next hand, we pose the probing interrogative. How would you play it? All right, Dave, this is How Would You Play It? We're playing along with Cameron Mannheim. We're under the gun. And we have a jack ace. I am going to raise it. Certainly a playable Cameron's hand. Raising. I'd like to raise to about 1,200 here. 800. Cameron's raising well, 400. Well, Cameron only made it 800. Total. That's not enough to put pressure on the blinds. Call. Ian calls. <laughs> Allie falls. I like raising three times a big blind, Dave. And already we have one caller. It's around to Wendy. Wendy's in the small blind. Ooh. Wendy's been playing pretty tight. Wendy is re-raising. And Wendy re-raising here. Total. Jeremy falls. I call. Cameron calls. We're in position. We're going to act after Wendy every subsequent round of action. I think that's an easy call. And I'm sorry, how much? 800 to me? 1,000 to call. 1,000? <laughs> if Ian calls here, we're going to have to be very careful with this hand. Ian calls three players. Well, looks like we're going to have to be very careful, Dave. Mm -hmm. I think I have a shot at this. The flop is five of spades, ace of hearts, six of spades. Good Wendy flop for our hand. We've got the top pair, a pair of aces with a jack kicker. However, Wendy's re-raise should be a big danger sign. 
The tension is killing me. Long beard. Wendy bets a thousand. Anytime the pot has more than about half an average stack, I like to just take it down if I think I've got the best hand. I don't really mess around a lot. You don't want to, yeah. I don't, don't want to let someone catch up. River. Right? The pot's big enough. When yeah. the pot's big enough, shove it in if you think you've got the best hand. I'm going to raise you. And there's 6,800 in the pot right now, Dave. That is big enough to take mm -hmm. down right away. Cameron obviously thinks that we've got the best hand. I think we've got the best hand as well. Cameron raises 2,000 to 3,000 total. That's not a big enough raise, Dave. What am I in this for? <laughs> Ian folds. Oh, look, they're playing poker. Oh. Uh. I would have raised there about uh, four or 5,000 or just pushed all in. Wendy mm -hmm. calls. And Wendy's called. That is not good news for us. Turn is a 10 of clubs. Wendy is first. All in. All in. Oh, no. Wendy bets 1,000. I'm worried about her having ace-10 with two pair, either that or a bigger mm -hmm. ace. Why am I nervous right now? I know. You put in a thousand? <laughs> mm -hmm. I did. I will raise it. Cameron's raising. Three thousand. Cameron to raises 2,000 2, to 3,000 total. I'll call you. Oh, no. Quick call from Wendy, too. I think we're in trouble on this hand. The river is a four of diamonds. No help Wendy for either player, I'm sure of it. A check. Wendy checks, Cameron And checks. yeah, good we'll check from Cameron hands, there. Please. Cameron turns over an ace of diamonds. Disaster, and Dave. He's got three tens. She has a pair of aces. Wendy has a ten of spades and a ten of hearts. She has three tens. She wins the pot. I'm going all in next time. You know I am. You know, the pot was big enough. She should have just moved right in there. I yeah. don't know if Wendy's going to call. I mean, maybe she would have anyway yeah. with her two tens. You don't really know. But get your money into the pot when you've got the best hand. End of story. If you let them stick around, they can draw out on you. And that's exactly what happened here. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Oh, can we see that? <laughs> I don't know. See, now that, now they gotta, I think there's a limit if it's only a couple seconds. They gotta, they gotta pay Pierre, Paul, and Mary. <laughs> Ian is first act. Offers act. King six suited. To be or not to be. <laughs> I'm sure that never gets old. Oh. All right, it's early. We got funnier later on. Um, why am I even thinking about this? Good pull for Ian. Mm -hmm. A six, also suited. Wow, very tight fold with the A six suited. Queen seven off suit. Wendy Jeremy Holmes. with a jack five. Jeremy calls. Cameron's in the big blind and the short stack with one of the worst hands in Hold'em. Eight deuce Cameron off suit. Cameron checks, two players. Flop is six of hearts, ace of hearts, deuce Allie of Allie would have flopped two pair, Dave. She would have had aces and sixes. There's an ace in every flop, isn't there? Check it to you. Jeremy checks. Cameron's got the best hand with a pair of deuces. Cameron might take a shot at this pot with a bottom pair. It's very unlikely that Jeremy has an ace. I need some for my next blind, just in case. I'll check it. Cameron checks. I think checks. that was a mistake. I would have gone all in there. The turn is a 10 of spades. Jeremy is first. And Jeremy, Jeremy sensing after. weakness, bets out 500 with no pair and no draw. And it's going to work. Cameron lays down the best hand, and Jeremy takes the pot. One more than three chips? What do I do with all this? This fat stack. I heard this game is a lot more fun to do drunk. I'm going to need something to drink then. Thirst dying of... Up next, someone will be quenching their thirst in the Loser's Lounge. Phil, I'm coming to see you. Will Cameron be the first knockout? Find out in moments. You know, the couch in the Loser's Lounge... The boardroom table and the poker table. The only difference between them is a layer of felt. At these tables, we go all in. We're fully leveraged. Reading risk and reward here isn't much different than reading it on a spreadsheet. We play because poker's like business, without the conference calls. The office may close at six, but there's a game that's always open. We play at fulltillpoker.com. Welcome back to Celebrity Poker Showdown, coming to you from the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. We've got 
five celebrity poker players, and they all want to win the biggest piece of that Cadillac Bravo million dollar prize pool. Now, I know you want to get back to the game as quickly as possible, but let's dally just long enough to let Phil recite one of his beautiful chip counts. I am famous for that, if nothing else. Mm. Wendy Pepper's the chip leader. She's up to 20,900. Allison Sweeney's in second place with 10,900. Ian Gomez is in third with 8,900. Jeremy London's in fourth place with 7,900. And Cameron Mannheim is the short stack at the table. She's down to just 1,400 in chips. Through in $400 blinds. Shuffle up and deal. What do you think it's going to win? <laughs> what do you think it's going to win? <laughs> Allie is first act. Allie's got an 8 9. Allie folds. 9 3 for Wendy. Wendy folds. Jeremy with Queen 8. You're going to play this hand. I want you to raise it on the button. Really put some pressure on. Jeremy called. Calling's not putting pressure on. 7 2. Cameron folded. 3-5 suited. Uh, I'll raise. Ian is raising. Wow, Ian raising with 3-5 uh, suited. I'll raise 800. Ian's raising 800 to 1,200 total. So how much is it? 800 for 800 to call. He must have figured out that Jeremy was weak when Jeremy limped on the button. And Jeremy was weak. Jeremy he lays falls, down his hand. Ian wins the pot. It does not take cards to win, Dave. What does it take? Courage. That's right. Ian had some, and he takes the pot. I heard this game is a lot more fun to do drunk. <laughs> Thirst, dying. I'm gonna need something to drink then. You got a lot of money over there. Uh, it's all mine. It's yours, sweetie. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get it back. She's like the vixen with the heart of gold too. I saw her shooting you very apologetic looks I know, afterwards. She's like, I'm sorry, I took Yeah, I didn't. Money. I didn't get that look. No. King two. No. Jeremy is first to act. I got the die pig look. <laughs> Jeremy You're calls. Used to that look, yeah, you? a little bit. Nine ten there from Cameron. Cameron folds. And it's a jack five. Ian folds. Eight nine. Allie in the small blind. It's only going to cost her 200 to see the flop. No. Allie calls. It's up to Wendy. Wendy in the big blind already has her 400 in the pot. And she's got jack five suited. Free look. Wendy. Oh, free look at the flop, Wendy. Yeah. Take those cards back. Wendy checks in her big blind. Three players. Flop a great flop hearts, it is for her. Hearts, four, six, three, three with two hearts. Allie She's got a heart first. draw. She needs a heart to make a flush or a two or a seven Allie to make a checks. straight. That's Wendy almost as good a draw as you can get. Jeremy calls. Allie folds. Two players. The turn is a queen of diamonds. Wendy is first. Wendy bets 2,000. Wendy continuing to be aggressive and pressure her opponent. And Jeremy lays down the best hand, and Wendy takes the pot with a nice aggressive play after the turn card. I'm Wendy Pepper, and I'm playing for the American Heart Association. I am feeling lucky today. I love cards. I started playing bridge. It segued into poker, and here I am. I have been working pretty steadily since Project Runway. So when I was called to come on the show, I had this rush of adrenaline, like, I am going to just... Totally score. Winning a three ten, she wins the pot. I like Hold'em because it really distills it down to such a basic element of like, are my two cards better than yours? The look in your eye could freak somebody out enough. I love that. When I don't know somebody, I try to jab them a little bit and just see how they take the bait. It gives me some idea what kind of card player they're going to be. Uh, Come on. What's the uh, the bet to me? What's, how much is it to me? Because I want the table to go at my pace. I have a feeling that Cameron has that ability to take a look at the table and figure out how to play everybody, but that's what I want to do. So Cameron, move over. We're going to have a female champion. Yes. The blinds are at 200, 400. Cameron Mannheim is getting desperate. She's only down to three big blinds, Dave. Time Cameron to pick a hand and go all that. in. And she's got a pair of threes. Well, I'd go all in with that hand for sure. You got to double up right here. No the big blinds net. Oh, no. Cameron folds. And it's six ten of diamonds. Five 
Four nine. Neither of these hands would have called Cameron's all in. And Jack four. And this hand wouldn't either. Folded around, and the big blind is going to take the pot. I think Cameron missed an opportunity here. Cameron should have gone all in with those pocket threes. Jerry the big blind. It just seems to be lining up that way. Yeah, it's weird. Ian is first act. And Ian, 8-6. I get to keep these? Ian folds. Jack, 7. Oh, Allie I'm folds. just having so much fun. Isn't this good? You got that, that muscle going? Yeah, exactly. A little it's workout wonderful. here. And went, oh, pocket aces for Wendy Pepper. American Airlines, she's coming Wendy in for a raise. 1,600 to 9 suited. Looks like uh, Jeremy likes these suited cards he's going to play. Jeremy calls. Cameron folds, two players. Wendy, 82% to win before the flop. Four, flop nine, eight. Four Jeremy flop, top pair. Diamonds, eight of diamonds. Okay, here comes Jeremy the diamond check. First. Everyone's going to look back at their cards Ooh, to see if they've yeah. got a diamond. I've almost never seen someone who flops a flush have to look back at their cards. Uh -huh. when, the, when, the, when the flop comes with three cards of the same suit and your opponent look, checks their whole cards, they're checking to see if they have one of that suit. Yeah. But if they're already suited, they probably with that suit, they are going to know. They don't have yeah. to look back again. They know yeah. they flopped the flush. Yeah. Unless you're playing against me. I sometimes forget in the middle of a hand while, while betting. <laughs> and I'll raise 10,000. <laughs> Jeremy bets 800. Wendy raises 1,200 to 2,000 total. How much for me? Wow, Jeremy in big time trouble. Wendy, 79% to win from here. Well, that kind of helped oh. Wendy's hand a little bit. Now Wendy is 100% to win. Yes, because her cards all look like that. <laughs> Wendy bets 5,000. So do not want to be the first one in the loser's lounge. If Jeremy calls, he will be joining us in the loser's lounge. You know, the couch in the loser's lounge is very comfortable. You may want to... Coming to see you. Dave, hanging out. We're gonna hang. I'll do it. I think she's bluffing. There he goes. He does yeah, call. He's calling all in. <laughs> Jeremy has 2,300. He's all in. All right. Let's see both I hands. Turn them over, this. please. That's it. <gasps> Wendy has an ace of spades and an wow. ace of clubs. She has three aces. Wendy's going to have almost $30,000 wow. at the end of this hand. That's incredible. I'm going to lose. I'd rather lose than that. Dude. Turn is a six of hearts. Oh, you were so Wendy close. Wendy wins the Here comes Big Jeremy. Wow. Good luck, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. was gonna happen. That's okay. I can go get drunk now. Hello, Jeremy. Hey. She. I don't think she was bluffing. She wasn't bluffing. No, no. Guess she, what? She wasn't bluffing. She had three out of four aces. <laughs> she did. Yeah. Uh, That's what do you do? Seventy-five percent of the aces. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna oh. lose, you know, might as well lose the pocket aces. Yeah. Loser's a loser. Yeah, and she got that other ace there, and and, uh, and it's not going to be so bad in here. I sort of was rushing to get in here, actually. Yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> what, would you, what would you like? And the other thing is, uh, EMBRF uh, is going to get five thousand dollars. And can you oh, tell, tell us about the about the charity? Well, uh, EB is a is a very rare skin disease. There are doctors at Stanford that are really very close to finding a, a cure for this, yeah. and. Uh, Hopefully the, the money that uh, we help raise will go to the medical research. and yeah, uh, which is great. Us. And uh, I was asking, any of the charities on the show, uh, you can check out the Bravo website, and they're, where, where links are available, they will be made available on our website. So That's great. people can check into that. So you got the $5,000. You're going to get a drink. Uh, you're going to get to hang out with Phil and I. And we are, I don't, I don't want to overstate this, we are delightful. Yes, I've, we are, I've been told. We are charming, and, we are, and you know what else? We're not afraid to be comforting either. That's good. That's no. good. Because I need it right now. We are very, we're very high estrogen men. <laughs> so we'll be very, we'll be very warm to you. All right. Well, you know, we're going to go out to a commercial, and then we'll be back for more celebrity poker. <laughs> Welcome back, Celebrity Poker Files. We're here at the Palms in Las Vegas. We have one casualty so far. 
Jeremy London is trying to get comfortable on the couch here in the loser's comfortable. lounge. Comfortable, he's already drunk. I know. Well, that is, <laughs> is there anything more comfortable than being drunk? Not really. I just need to, I need to be drunk. You know, I think being drunk and a memory foam uh, mattress, uh, <laughs> that's all you need to be happy. Now, uh, Phil, the other four, how are they doing in terms of chips? All right, here you and go. And counting. Wendy Pepper knocked out Jeremy and widened her lead. She's got 29,200. Allison Sweeney's holding on to the number two spot. Right now, she's got 10,100. Ian Gomez is in third with 9,900. And Cameron Mannheim is barely hanging in there with just 800 in chips. Two and four hundred dollar blinds. Shuffle up and deal. You think he ever gets tired of saying that? I don't know. You need to say I have four stacks of chips. Wow. I could have more if somebody gave me five orange for this blue. Give it up, Wendy. Yep, you got it, girlfriend. Allie is first stack. Allison Sweeney of Days of Our Lives has eight double infinities. Yeah. You know, it's the power of persuasion. It's a psychological thing. Allie raises 600 to 1,000 mm, Wendy Pepper Project Runway's got a king six. Wendy Actress folds. Cameron Mannheim also Mannheim. folds. See, if I were Cameron there, I would have just gone all in. Yeah. You know, she's only got 600 left after her small blinds in the pot, so she might as well try to take her stand there. With the dead money in the pot, she's probably going to get the right odds. The dead money being Eden's blind, right? Yes. If Eden doesn't play, she's going to definitely get the right odds. You want my blind? Is that what you're saying? Ian Gomez of Jake in Progress. Queen nine of yes. hearts. Thank you. <laughs> Did you see how I dropped my voice like that? It's yeah, it was great. I, you know, had I known about these little cameras, I would have gotten a manicure before I came here. Um, Ignore the fungus on your fingers, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes, it's, it's 600 to me, just to see the flop. 600? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Call. Ian calls two players. Flop is deuce of hearts, queen of clubs. Good flop for Ian. He's flopped the top pair, pair of queens. Uh, I'll check. Ian checks. Allison will probably read that as weakness and bet. Allie bets Indeed, she bets 600. And a quick call Ian from calls. Ian. Turn is a tray of spades. Ian is first. Ian still with the best hand now, 95% to win. Uh, 2,000. Ian bets 2,000. Time for Allison to give this hand up. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses don't work. You can see my eyeballs. Balls. No. <laughs> Yay, Allie. She's drawn very slim to an eight. So to raise him, I would have to. No, no, no. You know exactly <laughs> what you're doing. You have to announce it. <laughs> Look, the man is trying to talk to me. All right. Like, dude, tell her how to beat me. Minimum. Minimum. The minimum would be 4,000 all your chips. You don't you advise me. If you go all in and then he matches you then and he loses, he's out. And then it's just us. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. The four guys that will be in the, the loser's lounge just <laughs> drinking and scratching our nuts. How many chips do you have? You I have one, two, three, four thousand. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Allie has exactly 200 more than he has. All in. All in. All in. All in. She moves all in. This is a bluff. I don't know how he can call. Total. She raised 65. Then again, I could be wrong. Ian calls. It could just be the group. I'm sorry. Give me good vibes. Good vibes. Girl. All good Ian vibes, could beat there was a bluff, and, and unfortunately, Allie had a bluff. Mm -hmm. Look at Ian has 6,300 of the like 65. She's only 5% to catch an eight on the river. Let's see both hands, please. Turn them up. Ian shows a queen of hearts and a nine of hearts. He has a pair of queens. Allie has an eight of diamonds and an eight of clubs. She has a pair of eights. Ian has the best hand so far. Let's see the river. Unless she catches an eight, she'll be down to 200 and chips. No, an ace on the river. Ian wins Allie the took a huge hit there, and Ian has doubled up. I don't know what to say about that. I'm I, perplexed. 
Not even Jeremy would have played like that. <laughs> she over, uh, yeah, she overestimated the power of eights. Eights are a fine hand before the flop, but when the flop has a queen and a jack on it and your opponent wants to put a lot of chips in the pot, your eights are probably not good. Yeah. I think Allie bluffed herself. I think Ian's the shark who I need to really, you know, get rid of. Folding, there's a lot of honor in folding. <laughs> I try to be a good loser. I am not a great loser, I will admit it, but mostly at my own expense. I'm angry at myself for obviously not having won. Oh, I'm just having so much fun. Yeah, there's a loser's lounge. Yeah. I think my play against Cameron is gonna have to be tight and accurate, and I'm not gonna let her get away with bullying everyone else at the table, certainly not me. Put in a thousand, I'm gonna raise you. Wendy and I have a lot in common being portrayed as a bitch on TV, and so I think I'm really gonna relate to her. Yeah. And then I'm going to take advantage of it and beat her. I'm not, I'm not adverse to using that technique. I'll do what it takes. Allie is going to be all in in her big blind for 200. If you come in, you have to come in for 400. And Wendy's got a jack four suited. It's 400 Wendy is first act. Wendy folds. And Cameron has a uh, five and 10. Cameron only has 600 in chips. You guys would make great lifeguards. I'm thinking if I wanted to. I have to match the four, right? Right. <laughs> I'm coming all in. <laughs> Cameron is raising all in. Oh, ace king for Ian. How much? 600. She has 600, 600 total. I have to. Oh, well, OK. It's 400 to call. Super easy call for Ian. No sense in me raising. Ian calls. We have two all-in players. Did you have Six to rub it in like pop. that, though? I don't <laughs> think it's really necessary. Let's see all three hands, playing? please. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Ian is a huge favorite to eliminate both these players. Look at my big hand, you guys. I have a five and ten off suit. Oh, wait, Ian, 59% to win this pot before yeah, the flop. Two cards can win. And look at what he has. Cameron has a ten of spades, five of diamonds. Uh, Ian has an ace of clubs, king of hearts. And Allie has a nine of diamonds, five of spades. Let's see the flop. I'm cool. It's been a pleasure. I'm sorry that I even put the ace on the flop. Mm -hmm. Disaster for the ladies. Four of hearts, ace, ace of diamonds. Ian now. Ian has the best hand with a pair of 93% for a double Ian's elimination turn. here. Oh, that's a good card for the ladies. Now they have an open ended straight draw. It can happen. With a pair of aces, but Allie and Cameron both have a straight draw. Let's see the river. I need an eight or three. An eight or three. An eight or three. No. No. Clubs. Ian wins the pot. Ian will eliminate both Allie and Cameron in the same hand. I can't believe it. I'm so sorry. Well, hello. Hello, ladies. <laughs> I don't know who feels worse. Uh, you know, potentially bravo. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Well, I have a question, though. I think Phil took out a couple, two people at one time when you oh, played yeah. Phil the Poker Tour, right? Yeah, yeah, knocked yeah. out. Well, what uh, are the odds of that? How often does that happen? Well, there, there's no real odds for it, but it's, it's very rare. It's very mm -hmm. rare. But both of you are short stacked. So, I mean, obviously, Allison was all, already all in. You chose to go all in with a 10-5 for some reason. Did I mean, I, well, because I had 400, I, had, I would have had $200 left. No, I would have had 400 for the blind. Yeah. And that could have been worse. It's all right. You didn't do anything terribly yeah. wrong. No. I, on the other hand. No, no, no. Well, the well, pocket eight was miserable. <laughs> I mean, I. No, no, no. The, the pocket eight, I mean, there's a queen and a jack on the board. Yeah. I, no. All right, miserable may have been overstating it. Yeah. I had, well, all right. No. I knew it. I knew it when I did it. I was like, wow, this is a mistake. And then I don't know what, it was like the devil, you know, that the devil angel scenario. I feel a little bad about it because the, I the feel like devil I, Cameron's head, yeah. you know, well, I angel. couldn't have imagined you had eight 
<laughs> yeah. I you could have beat him if he was bluffing. Out. Out. Well, that's what I thought he was bluffing, but having learned from Jeremy's mistake, I didn't want to actually admit that out loud afterwards. Yeah. Right. I, I figured it was better just not to say that and let it lie. I hope a lot of people can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if nothing else. Well, that's really what, come out of this. you know, we try to we try to think of the show as a cautionary tale. <laughs> you know, sort of a parable really. It's the story uh, of my life. Yeah. Really. So and and you know, that's you know, cuz we most of our audience is children. As you know. <laughs> the, the real reason we are here is, of course, the uh, Cameron, you're playing for the Venice Family Clinic. They're going to get $5,000. What is the Venice Family Clinic? The Venice Family Clinic is the largest free clinic in the country, and they are incredible with prenatal care for children, for your eyes, for anyone who can't afford health care. They are there for them. They're yeah. phenomenal. Terrific thing to do. Yeah. Very, so. so thank you. Uh, and uh, Allie, you are playing for St. Jude's Children's uh, Research Hospital. I think it, the title is pretty self-explanatory. Yes, they're researching, they're trying to cure children. <laughs> That's right. They're trying to, because uh, children, there's a lot of them. And until we can get rid of all the children. <laughs> They're going to need money for research. Yes. $5,000 will go to help prevent children. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? We're going to go out to commercial, and then we'll be back for more Celebrity Poker Showdown. Welcome back to the Palms in Las Vegas for more Celebrity Poker Showdown. We are down to two because of you, you ass. <laughs> Now, one of you is going to get this chip. One of you is going to get this silver chip. Ah, uh -huh, I got a good grip on it. Uh -huh. and, uh, but you're, and you guys are playing here for great causes. Uh, you're playing for the uh, American Heart Association. I am. Right, and you're playing for the, uh, the Autism Society of America. Correct. So you are literally playing for the hearts and minds of America. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is... So I'm going to throw this back over to our tournament director, Robert Thompson, will you please take them back to the table and good luck to you both. Thank you very much. Wendy begins this heads-up contest with the lead. She's got 29,200 to Ian's 20,800. Three and six hundred dollar blind. Shovel up and deal. Blinds are up to three and six hundred and we are heads up. All right, Dave, uh, when you get down to heads up, yes. a small blind has the dealer button and acts first before the flop. Yes. But last on every subsequent Some round of betting. Bet yes. You got that? And no. You know, uh, Wendy, you're looking very Jackie O over there. <laughs> so Wendy! Ian is first. Oh, getting, the, <laughs> getting the silent treatment over Ian here. Ian on the button. Also looking very Jackie O. Ace five. Um, every ace is playable when your head's up. So it's three to me to call. I'll raise six. Good. That's perfect. Ian is raising 600 to 1,200 total. Seven four. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy folds, folds and Ian will take pot. down the first pot and heads up action. Come yeah, come on, Wendy. Yeah, come on, Wendy. <laughs> yeah, she's I mean, look at this. It's, it's the ice queen. You have to be aware of the hands that you've shown down, right? The hands that she's shown down, two aces, two tens. Yeah, so Those are he, big hands. He knows if she's betting, she's betting on good hands only. Exactly. 600, I'm sorry. You know, the pawns are the wonderful, is it? Mm, five, six off suit. Uh, well, heads up, you're not going to get dealt that, those monster hands very often. You have to play, even if you have crappy cards. <laughs> oh, scratch your nose. I'd be scared if she bets. And he's yeah, talking yeah. When she too. when she bets, that's like, good strategy. Yeah, he, he was trying to put her off her game. Yeah, he's. I think it's working. Wendy raising he it up. Raises seventeen hundred to twenty. Just trying to pressure total. the big blind. The queen five. Well, Dan's gonna fold she the best hand. Queen that's queen the value of pre-flop aggression when your head's up. Wendy takes the pot. She's got a good poker face. You gotta hand it to her. Yeah. She does. She's got a great poker face. I think she's a shark, and she was just playing silly. I think she was just playing naive in there. Uh, I she don't. got me. <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm trying to make myself feel better, Phil, okay? You can see my eyes, can't you? Right? You can see my eyes? Yeah? So these glasses were a bad choice. <laughs> in his first act. All right, here we go. 9, 10 off suit. Playable hand heads uh, up. I will raise. Ian is raising. 600. 
Ian is raising 600 to 1,200 total. And Ace Five suited for oh, Wendy. Don't hurt me. Or just hurt me a little. I raise. You raise. Wendy is raising. Good play. Wendy's raising 1,200 to 2,400 total. So I have to put in 12. Wow. Advanced math here on Celebrity Poker Showdown. <laughs> I would have never get it. got it. Re-raise, you say? You want to come down with me? You want to come down the street with me? <laughs> Ooh. You know, you don't live long on Fashion Avenue without being tough. <laughs> they eat you live on 7th. Buy some ice cream on the corner? All right. I'll call. Ian calls. You know, I got a 50-50 chance right now. Actually, 43%. I know that's wrong, but I like saying it. And now you've only got about a 5%. Five of clubs, ace of clubs, eight of spades. Wendy's flopped two pair of aces and fives. Wendy bets 1,000. That's a pretty weak bet. Ian, with no piece of the flop whatsoever, will <laughs> fold, and Wendy will take down the pot. Did you have an ace? You had an ace. You had an ace, right? You had an ace? You had one ace? You had an ace. You had an ace? You had an ace? You had a one ace, right? You had an ace? What'd you have? An ace? You had an ace? Like an ace? Like an ace of spades? Ace of diamonds. Ace of, ace, ace of hearts. Ace, ace of hearts? Ace of hearts? But it was an ace, right? Sweet, I got your chips. That's all I care about. Oh. <laughs> well, I was never a good loser. So it's always good to avoid me losing. So anyone who's watching this ought to just take note that uh, it's better for me to win. It's just better all the way around. And everyone will go home happier. So if we're just clear on that. Ian saw my show, and he knows a lot about my character, or he thinks he does. I got to make sure that I keep an eye on him. He comes across as a good poker player. And that just makes me want to take him down. Well, congratulations. I understand that there's a place where people go when they lose. I don't expect to see it. I never consider myself a loser on my last show. I just didn't win like I'm going to do today. <laughs> Lines three and 600, Wendy Pepper on the button. Wendy is first to act. And when This is going to be so much fun when I take you down. I swear it again. Has four six. Oh. Wendy Aha. falls, Ian wins the pot. Ah, fair. Woo Who's got whose chips now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, looky, looky. I got somebody's chippies. Now, my guess is that Wendy's going to probably play a little bit too tight heads up. Yeah. When you're down to heads up, I think you should play almost every hand you're dealt when you're on the button. Yeah. You're, you want to put pressure on your opponent, and you want to act last after the flop. Yeah. Almost every pot is won from position. Ian is first to act. Okay. He's got a 2 yes. 9. Horrible hand. One of the worst hands possible. All in? He could fold here. Thousand. All right. Ian's raising 700 to 1300 total. Hello. Oh. Two ladies. Cowgirls. It's not that much. It's really not that much. Now, your hands are shaking. What, what does that mean? It's a sign mm -hmm. of adrenaline mm -hmm. running through your body. I don't think you have anything. See, I noticed that about her out there. Whenever she would go to put a, a bed in, she was, like, shaking like that. And so I was like, she's bluffing. No, I know she's, no, no. Know. When, they, when their hands shake, they've got a good hand. Yeah, you read the tally. You just didn't read it right. Yeah, well, I know that now. Nice read, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. That was the hand where she had three aces. 3,600 <laughs> total. So it's 2,300 to me. And I'll raise another 3,000. Oh, no. For the 9 2 offsuit. Ian is raising 3,000. Huge mistake to here. 6,600 total. So what, I'm sorry, what do I have to do? 3,000 is your, you have to, 3,000, or you can raise it another, whatever you want to raise it. Thank you. Two queens is a, just a monster hand heads up. Wendy calls. I'll see you, dear. Flop is seven of spades, tray of diamonds, jack of diamonds. Great Wendy flop for Wendy. First. No overcards to the board. Her pair of queens is still high. Wendy, 97% to win Wendy here. Wendy bets 1,000. <laughs> Those aren't the cards I wanted. <laughs> That's funny. Um, 
Am I telling you too much? Is that too much of a, of a, of a tell there? You want to come with me? Oh. All right. Yeah, I know. Uh, Pot-wise, there's... I should be in that, right? Okay. Ian calls. The turn turn guard's the monster clock. queen. Windy I think that gives her three of a kind, Dave. But still, she does the worst Robert De Niro impression I've ever seen. Wendy bets a thousand. I gotta raise. Ian oh, God, raising. look at this. He's raising now. Wendy, 100% to win this hand. I'll uh, raise 3,000. Ian is raising 3,000. Ian picks a bad time to bluff. Total. If she doesn't re-raise here, I may have to pull my hair out. You're pulling me with all those big chips you got there. Look at me. I got I raise. Got... Wendy's raising 3,000 to 7,000 total. Very good play. She's got pocket somethings, and then I got, uh, I have that. Ian's tried to bluff three times in the same hand, Dave. People just don't like to admit they were bluffing. Let me see your eyes, Ian. You can see my eyes? Let me see them. <laughs> All right, I heard you. Ian falls, Wendy wins the pot. Huge pot there for Wendy Pepper. This is just me playing with my feces before I really get down to business. Did I say that? Did I actually just say feces? You have so many chips over there, you have it, you can't eat, you don't have time to stack them. It's just, oh, these, these, these are my chips I'll just throw away. These are my tipping chips. Hey, sweetheart, thanks for the drink. Here's a $500 chip for you. Wendy's first act. King three suited. She should raise this for sure. I raised. Good. Wendy is raising 1,100 to 1,700 total. And Ian's got an ace nine of spades. Um. He's really got one option, all in her fold. Or, sorry, he's got two options. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll re-raise 1,800. Ian is That's not good. He's got to move. He's got to move all in there, especially because he's going to be out of position on every single round of betting, right? You don't want to play no limit hold'em out of out of position. It's very difficult. There's no stopping you. When you're out of position, try to win the pot before the flop. I'll see you. Okay. Wendy calls. Easy call for our chip leader. The flop is and a great flop for her King too. We've got two pair flop. kings and threes. First. Wendy now 96 percent to win. <laughs> I don't know how much do I have. Oh boy. This thing could be over right here. Thousand. Ian bets 2,000. Wendy should put them all in. Are you looking at me or looking at the cards? I can't, I just can't see. I raise. Good. Wendy is raising 2,000 to 4,000 total. You're raising 2,000? That puts, uh... Ian, with only a few thousand left, he's got to save these chips. His hand cannot possibly be good right now. Suck so hard. Yes. Mm. Oh, Wendy, Wendy takes pot. another pot. This thing's a runaway. You bully me too much. When we come back, Wendy tries another tactic. I only have eyes for you. Ian doesn't fall for it. I get too crazy. Can Ian take the lead away from Wendy? Find out right after this. Speak to me, buddy. Give me something. Just a little something. There it is. I guess you paired that ace. Hard to let this go, but when you're beat, you're beat. We play at FullTiltPoker.com. Welcome back to the Palm Casino Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada. 
We are down to heads up action between Wendy Pepper and Ian Gomez. They are, uh, you know, this can't go on all night. Who do you like? Uh, who do I like? Well, I've already picked Ian, so uh, You're gonna you know, stick I've, with done, Ian? I've done everything I can to uh, to thwart him uh, by picking him, and yet still he persists. So He's let's doomed. see, let's see who's who's gonna uh, take this thing home. The you know, it's the Cadillac Bravo million dollar prize. A pool. million dollars. A million dollars. One million dollars. I know they're trying to get to that table and get the five hundred thousand dollars share of that million. That's a lot That's of smack. half of it. Wendy's got a huge lead right now. She's got 47,700 to Ian's 2300. It's not over yet. We've seen bigger comebacks than this. Ian would still have a chance if he just weren't Dave's pick. Four and eight hundred dollar blinds. At four and eight hundred dollar blinds, Ian has only three big blinds. Dave, I think his only move here is all in. This time I gotta go in. I got no chips. I gotta go in. Close your eyes and go all in. And I will get a better hand this time. Ian is first to act. Ace ten. Certainly an all in hand. I got. I got. Go. go all in. Put them in. Four seven off suit. Ian is all in for twenty three hundred total. Wendy folds and Ian will take down the pot. Ian wins the pot. I don't know. Wendy is first to act. Does this make it look like it's Ace more? Ace ten. I raise. Wendy is raising 2100 to 2900. And it's 7 8. I'll go all in. Ian is going all in for 3100. Oh, God, if she folds here, I may throw up. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, Wendy called. Ian's call. all in. Wendy called. Let's see both hands, please. Nice. He went all in eight with a seven and eight. Now he's about 38% to win here. It's not so bad. Eights and sevens. Ah, and there's an eight on the flop. Ian now 76% to double up. Eight of clubs. Ian has a pair of eights. He has the best hand. I'm supposed to stand, right? Is that See what the they turn? do? Stand? Okay, okay. There we go. Turn is a six of diamonds. Ian still has Now the she's best down to four hand. outs. She's only 9% to win from here. River? River is a is king. A king. Of Ian's doubled up. Ian wins the pot. Pair of eights is good. Thanks for the charity. Ian is first act. With Jack six off suit. Um, he should stay aggressive. Should he bite her? Have you looked at your cards yet? I only have eyes for you, dear. <laughs> Raising. I don't really mind this with the jack six, even though it's not a great hand. First, they have to pick up a hand that's better than you, then they have to call, and then they have to win. Or is 3,000. A lot of good things can happen when you raise before the flop. 810 for Wendy. I And that's one of the good things that can happen. You can steal the blinds. Ian continues to be aggressive and wins the pot. Thank you, but I. I need pills to do that nowadays. <laughs> Pair of nines. They don't let you sit, do they? They should get you like a stool or something. You can like a like... tennis umpire's chair. Mm-hmm. That'd be perfect. That'd be nice. It would. Maybe put you in whites or something like that. Absolutely. Have a little umbrella. I don't know about the whites. Well, okay. Hey, raise. Wendy's raising 2,100 to 2,900 total. 710. What do you think, Phil? I think you've only got 8,000 in chips, and I would not risk three eighths of my chips before the flop on this hand. I would fold um, here. Um. You bully me too much. Ian folds. Wendy wins the pot. Blinds are four and 800. Slowly, but you're, look, it's still dwarfed. Yep, he's down four to one. Lines up. Oh, right. Wendy is you first think back. We would remember that. Seven ten for Wendy. <laughs> the scratching of the nose. I 
Torres. Wendy is raising and it's a four six offs. Making it thirty nine hundred total. I'll re-raise. Yeah. Ian is re-raising. Uh, no. This could be it, guys. I don't think he's going all in, though. No, 3,000. Oh, no, no. Just move in. What are you doing? <laughs> it's fun watching Phil short circuit back here. This is Look, great. you got to raise all in there. You're leaving yourself with only 2,000, and you're not applying enough pressure to her to get her to fold. She called, of Wendy course. Wendy is calling. Come on, my cards. No one flopped the flop anything. Flop is queen of spades, ace of diamonds, eight of clubs. Ian is first to act. This might actually work, Dave. If he moves all in, I don't think mm -hmm. she can call. She has no pair, no draw. Of course, he has a worse no pair, no draw. What do you have? You have an ace. She's pretty stone cold, guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's not giving away a lot. You have a high kicker? What do you got? You got like a ace king? You got an ace? You got an ace? You got an ace? What kind of ace you got? You got an ace? It's like an ace of spades. Ace of clubs. Ace of clubs? Ace of hearts. Ace of hearts. You have an ace, you have an ace, ace of hearts? Ace of spades. She really better not have an ace of diamonds. <laughs> oh, I'm saying. Oh. Very unorthodox way to play this hand. But I think it's going to work. I don't think she can call here with mm -hmm. just a 10 high. Ian bets 2,400 all in. Careful. Yeah, Wendy falls. Oh, wow. He's stone, stone cold bluff there, guys. Mm. Big bluff. For what? Huge balls of steel. <laughs> That's what he had. Wendy Pepper is kind of like the Amarosa of Project Runway. Don't hurt me. I'm sure she's a, a very sweet person. Sweet, I got your chips. That's all I care about. Oh. You know, it's all for the TV, it's all for the camera and everything like that. But if she gives me any lip, she's going down. Yeah. Come on, Wendy. Winning Ian is a little better than losing. Ian is raising. I'm not the one going, yeah, and I kind of like grind my crotch in someone's face. Ooh, who's got whose chips now? I'll be very gracious and, you know, smile a lot. And then when I get in my room, I can go, yes, hello. Yeah, I mean, it's going to feel really good. Wendy's first act. Wendy, queen four off suit. Smaller, smaller, less, not as much. It's a very long game. Don't want to get too crazy. I raise. Wendy is raising 3,100 to 3,900 total. Eight, nine off suit for Ian. Let's see a flop. <laughs> Ian is calling. All right. The flop is nine, nine six of queen. Six of Both players nine have flopped a pair. Ian has a pair of nines. Wendy has a pair of queens. Ian only twenty three percent to win. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, bet. Ian is betting. Twenty five hundred. Ian best 2,500. Right? I would certainly make a big raise if I were Wendy. I raise. Wendy's raising. Looks like Wendy raises 2,500, 5,000 total. That's the minimum raise. That's not a big raise. I would have put them all in right there. Yeah. What do you have? You got a queen, you got a, you got a flush draw, you got a flush draw. So I gotta make you. I gotta. You gotta. You gotta pay for that. She's giving him a chance to suck out. Too many draws out there. All right. All. Right. Uh, another twenty-five. Ian re-raising. Ian raises twenty-five hundred to seventy-five hundred total. Call you. Wendy, seventy-seven percent to win from here. Turn is turn card to nine. nine. Oh. Ian is first. Ian almost unbeatable now. Ninety-five percent to win. Three nines. All in. Yeah. Ian is betting all in. Yeah. 
Ian bets 5,800 uh, all in. The only way Wendy can win this hand is with a queen on the river, Dave. Vodka, that cool, refreshing drink. I call you. Wendy is calling. All right, let's see both hands. Ian shows a nine of spades and an eight of clubs. Monster pot. He has three nines. Wendy has a queen of clubs and a four of spades. Unless a queen comes on the river, Ian will be our new chip leader. Ian has the best hand so far. Let's see the river. No queen, no queen, no queen, no queen. River is a jack of spades. Ian wins the pot. We got a new chip leader. Wow. I really wish I could, you didn't wear those glasses because it's like I'm talking to Mount Rushmore over here. Wendy liked it a lot better when she was winning. You stole all my chips, dude. I'm not going down. Can Wendy design herself a comeback? Find out when one of them wins the silver chip right after this. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. The Palms which makes Logan's Run look like a retirement community. <laughs> Phil, what is the chip count looking like? All right, you're good, Dave. Ian Gomez has battled back and taken the chip lead. Right now, he's got 34,400 to Wendy Pepper's 15,600. 500 a $1,000 blind, shuffle up and deal. You know, Rob, they should get you one of those mats that the checkout people stand on and at the Safeway, you know, Could you save, save your legs. Let the powers that be know. Uh-huh. Well, he's got to feel great right now. I mean, yeah. he really fought back from the brink of, uh, brink of disaster. Yeah. He's the chip leader. He's got our almost two to one. And now he's got pocket aces. Uh, I'll raise. Ian is raising. I'll raise 5,000. No, Ian, Ian. 5, it's way too much. To you really want to get action when you have two aces and your head's up. King nine. Wendy folds, Ian wins the pot. That was a lost opportunity. Now, if I wanted you in, maybe in that hand, I should have not bet as much, right? If I bet like 2,000, would you have come in? I think she would have. Hello? <laughs> so you were in that uh, Project Runway, huh? I was. That was great. Did you have a good time doing that? Mm-hmm. That's. Uh, that, did it lead to other things for you? Like, uh, like celebrity your, poker. Celebrity poker. That, this, that, that's all you got. Uh, <laughs> are, you, are you designing your own stuff now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's I do wonderful. My own line. Good for you. Wendy is first to act. She folds. Ian wins the pot. My wife loved that show. She watched every episode of it. She uh, TiVo'd it. Can I say yeah, TiVo? Of course, talking about that, Nia uh, Vardalos. You should ever call me. I'd love to make clothes for her. You would? Oh, my gosh. It would be my greatest privilege. Really? Yes. All right. I'll see if I can work that out. I would love that. Um, and then she said... <laughs> what? She's bluffing. <laughs> She's bluffing. <laughs> uh, do you do men's clothing? No, uh, not at this time. But maybe you could? Maybe like I could. if you found a 44 Hands short? Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not really a 44 short. I'm 44 regular. They just alter the jackets a lot. But. Six, seven of hearts. <laughs> Wendy is first to act. I'm switching alcohols. It's always good to mix. I'll Kids at home, mix your alcohol. I'll call you. <laughs> Wendy you want to see a flop? I want to see a flop. Well, you're going to have to put some more money in before you see a flop. There we go. Keep the pressure on it. I really like the way he's playing heads up. He's doing almost everything right heads up. Ian raises 3,000 to 4,000 total. Okay. All right. Good. Wendy calls. I'll see it. You have a small pair. No, you do. I really wish I could. you didn't wear those glasses because it's like I'm talking to Mount Rushmore over here. Flop is oh, 10, 9, 9 8. 10, Great 9, flop 9, for Wendy. Straight. She's flopped a straight, Dave. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ian is first. It's me? What do I got to do? Five. Ian bets 5,000. Oh, boy. <laughs> I still don't know if that scratching of the, what is this part called? It's not the Walking. uvula. That's the, ah, uh, right? It's the, this is, what is this part of the? The anatomy call. Upper lip. 
No, it's the, the dip, the indentation right there. Where the what? The philtrum. Wow, very nice. Nice philtrum scratching. You stole all my chips, dude. I'm not going down. What does that mean? It's just like It's a very short season on Bravo. You may want to. When your head's up and you're short stacked, it's always right to put all your money in if you think you have the best hand. I raise. What are you doing? I raise. Wendy is raising. How much? I believe she's going to be raising herself all in. You're all in? I'm all in. Wendy's all in. And Wendy's almost unbeatable here. Okay, 8,100 total. 95% for her to win this pot. Save your money, Ian. You'll still have the chip lead if you fold, Ian. Duke, 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 ba, ba, You got a piece of that. And I got this. Phil, Phil, hello, Phil. Fold, fold. For you, my dear. Ian Good fold. fold. Wendy wins a pot. A oh. uh, big pot for her. They're almost dead even now. That sucked. That really sucked. I could have had you. Ian is first to act. Okay, Ian has. He's got a nine ten. Raise three thousand. Ian raises. Ian continues with the pre-flop aggression. Total. He makes it four thousand total. Oh, King Jack suited. I'll see you. Very, very good hand. Wendy is calling. Hey, we're going to see a flop. <laughs> Wendy about 66% to win before the flop. Come on, my cards. Flop is deuces. Great stage. flop for Four Wendy. She swapped the top pair and, and a great Wendy kicker. She's got a pair of jacks with a king kicker. She's now 94% to win. Three. Wendy bets 3,000. Excuse me while I stack. Yeah, go ahead. Stack your chips. Ian should get away from this hand now. He has no pair, no draw. Mm-hmm. And yet? He is counting out some chips. Or is six. Ian is raising 6,000 to 9,000 total. Uh-oh. What's this called again? Filtrum. Filtrum. <laughs> Dr. Filtrum. What is the call? Uh, 6,000 6, to call. call. I call. Wendy calls. Turn is a six of spades. Wendy She's 100% to win here. No card can come for Ian that will give him a winner. I check. Wendy checks. I gotta go all in. Yeah. Wow. That's all in. Oh. She induces the all in bluff and it works perfectly. And Wendy uh, calls quickly. Wendy she trapped him, Dave. She was going for the check raise and she trapped him for all his chips. More money than Wendy. Wendy is all in for 9,100. Really? I got to keep this? All right, let's see both hands, before. please. Turn them up. Ian shows a 10 of clubs oh. and a 9 of spades. He's I'm got dead. jack got high. Got Ian Wendy does have more chips than Wendy. So even though he's going to lose this hand, this thing is not over. Ian can't win. Let's see the river. Yeah, let's see the river. <laughs> river is a tray of clubs. Oh. Wendy wins the pot. Wendy's going to double up. Huge hand for Wendy Pepper. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I'm not sure what your intentions are in this relationship, but... Uh, do you want me to win? That's nice. I will do my best. He's when got to double up twice to get even. First act. And he's got a five tennis spades. Raise. Ian is raising. Uh, Tending to put pressure on. Ian is raising 3,000 to 4,000 total. Oh, hello. Hair kings. Raise. Wendy is re-raising Ian all in. We've played long enough. And he's virtually pot committed. He's going to call here. 
Wendy, 82% to win and advance to the championship round. Ian has 6,300 total. Great timing to pick up two Cowboys. Let's see both hands, I have please. Turn them over. Jacques Squaw. There's never bad timing to pick up two Wendy Cowboys. Wendy shows wow. a king of clubs and a king of diamonds. Monster. She has a pair of kings. Come on, Flush. Ian has a 10-5 Come on, five spades. spades. Let's Come see on, flop. spades. Three spades. Flop is five of diamonds, four of hearts, deuce of clubs. Oh, that's not bad for him. He's got. He's up to 21 percent now. Let's see the turn. Five ten. Five ten. Five ten. Mm -hmm. Diamonds. Five ten. Wendy five still ten, has five the best ten. hand. Let's see the river. River. And it's over. Oh, Wendy, wow. Wendy Pepper advances to the championship with her philtrum intact. But chafed. Wendy Pepper, you are the winner. Congratulations. You're you have the silver trip. That means you go on to the championship round, which means you have a chance to win 500000 out of that million-dollar Cadillac Bravo million-dollar prize pool for your charity. And this you get to keep regardless. Yeah. So any, from here in the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada, for my co-host Phil Gordon and myself, thank you so much, and good night.